Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Uh, someone brought to my attention that PVC tubing uh, can be used in a variety of amateur radio antenna applications. Uh, you run the wire through the tubing in one type of application um, and in another you simply use the tubing as a support mast as you would use fiberglass or carbon fiber. By the way, concerning carbon fiber, the verdict uh, is uncertain about how good that is for use at RF for antenna supports or any other uh, type of application. So my decision regarding that for my own personal purposes would be stay away from carbon fiber uh, tubing. Uh, use fiberglass instead or PVC. Uh, did I say carbon fiber tubing? Uh, well, I, carbon fiber uh, materials as support masts. Uh, sounds like a Sounds doubtful to me, so I would stay away from that. But PVC is more or less just plastic, and it does not conduct DC or RF at all. And you can even use it uh, for winding coils. You can use it uh, as an insulator. All kinds of things for RF applications. So uh, PVC definitely has a thumbs up from W1GV. I've been planning uh, the possibility for next winter of installing an end-fed half-wave wire antenna. Uh, there was a little unit made by some company and I, I've got a couple of videos about it and I forget the name of it or who makes it uh, right offhand, but it's designed to tune a 132 foot long piece of wire as a radiator for um, all the amateur bands with, to some exception, uh, I, I believe 17 meters doesn't tune terribly well with it. Um, the SWR is about four to one on that band, but otherwise uh, pretty close to one to one. As a to support the center of that antenna, I thought about using a PVC pipe mast. Uh, I'd get the tubing about four inches in diameter, commonly used for plumbing, uh, at a local hardware store, get three 10-foot sections, couple them together with the PVC couplings made especially for that purpose, and then uh, guy at those joints using nylon rope and uh, put that on top of my house and uh, if I put that on top of my house and one end of the antenna down near the mailbox and the other antenna at the uh, far end of the backyard I should be able to get about 132 feet of wire and I might try that next winter. I'm certainly not going to have any kind of antenna that I leave up all the time for use during the summer because we get some very heavy electrical storms here in the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of abominable weather. And that uh, those storms can pop up almost without notice in the, well, without notice in the summertime. And I uh, want to be able to quickly take my antenna down or leave it down whenever it's not in use. That would not be convenient with an antenna like the kind I'm describing, but in the winter, not so much worry about lightning. Then it's just heavy snow and the weight of the snow and ice during snow and ice storms that might bring down such an antenna. Uh, one colleague even remarked about squirrels chewing through the, the rope and, and that maybe I should tar the rope. Uh, but 
here we don't have that much of a problem with squirrels, so I don't think we're going to encounter any difficulty in that uh, in that vein. But PVC tubing, you can use it uh, for loop antennas, run the wire inside of it. You can use it for masts. It tends to be a little bit flexible, a little, uh, it tends to bend a little bit, so you need to, uh, if it's of any appreciable length. But look into it. PVC, I believe it's polyvinyl chloride. It's that white stuff that you see used now so often in plumbing applications. Very good, uh, a whole variety of uh, uses for amateur radio antenna applications. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, signing off, saying 73 and so long, which in my native fist, regardless of the supports or other appurtenances regarding uh, for the antenna, whatever the frequency always translates into da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs>